okay, so what is it with this Miller guy? What do you mean, what is it with this Miller guy? He's a problem. How is he a problem? He's a freaking hack. You know, some kind of talk show host crazy guy. One of those uh, uh, Jerry Springer types. It's not just that. He knows about Athens County. What? What do you mean he knows about Athens County? He's all in it. He's got evidence, he's got witnesses, and he's going to make it public. No, 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 no. This, this isn't happening. Look, look. He's going to have to be taken care of right now. This cannot come out. Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand. But how are you going to do it? You just leave that to me. Call the boys. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. Sir, how are you doing today? Hey, how are you doing? I am Investigative Reporter Miller. Uh, we're here today. I just was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Now, do you do you believe in aliens, sir? Actually, I saw aliens. You you have an actual experience with aliens? Yes, sir. Oh, please, please share with us and please the American people. Sure. I was uh, hiking with my dog at Hawking Hills, the uh, usual place, and uh, also my dog started going crazy, barking. I heard this eerie sound and I looked about 100 yards down the road from where the sound was coming and I saw this alien spacecraft hovering, just suspended, maybe about 50 feet above the ground and lights and everything and, and it just suspended there for maybe 30 seconds and then all of a sudden took off like in one second, scared the shit out. So it was just, it was just there and in one second it just took That's off. It. Just took off. Thank you very much for talking with us today. Oh, you're welcome. Now, do you believe in aliens? Sure I do. You do? Do you believe that they've been visiting the planet Earth? For years and years and years. Years and years and years. Yes. Yes. Now, do you have some kind of personal experience with aliens? Yes, I do. You do? Yes. Would you Would you share with us and, and with the American people what these experiences are? Well, actually, I've had several experiences, but one that really comes to mind is when I was I was a younger child. Um, my sister and I and my two nephews were out back looking for night crawlers late at night, and for some reason, I just got this weird feeling that I needed to go indoors. So I went ahead and went into the house, and it was like maybe a half an hour later, and my sister and my two nephews come running in the house, and they're white as sheets. Their face is white, and they're shaking and trembling. And I said, what's wrong, what happened? And they said, well, they were out, you know, looking at, for night crawlers. They heard some noise in the sky and they said, it looked like two airplanes were gonna crash. And so they said, they didn't crash. They just stopped right in front of each other and one took off and the other one came over them. And it was like over top of them. And they said they couldn't move. They couldn't move their body. They were froze, but the light, um, 
was just kind of shining down on them. They said they could move their eyes, but they couldn't move their bodies. So then um, they said they watched it and it went over to the neighbor's house and it went up. And when it went up and disappeared, they could move again. Investigative reporter Miller, here on the streets, asking people about their beliefs in uh, extraterrestrial life forms. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us here today. Now, let me ask you, do you believe in aliens and that they've been coming to the planet Earth? Nah, man, it's much bullshit. You mean like E.T. and shit? Like E.T. and stuff, yes, yeah, sir. And that's all, it's all bullshit, man. Hollywood bullshit. I just wanted to say thank you for coming and doing this interview at a great personal risk to yourself. To, to share with the information that you have of our government's involvement with aliens that are visiting this planet. Please, please share with me and the world with the knowledge that you have on this. It all started really, really started for me seven years ago. You know, before then I you know, had lower level clearance, I'd heard about things, you know, I knew things were there, but I never saw it. Then about seven years ago, I got a phone call to meet at a particular location over at the Wright Pat Air Force Museum. So over this museum, there's a big black man. Guys just standing there. Some of them were armed, some not. All, you know, black suits. They asked me to get into the vans. I get into the van and they blindfold me. We drive for what feels like an hour. And when we stop, they, they let us out blindfold us. And it's just this giant warehouse. There's sheets covering things everywhere. Right out in the middle of this room, there's this huge, huge light. This giant spotlight just shining down on these tables. You know, I go to one table, and there are these flat pieces of metal. So they asked us, pick it up, see if you can tear it, see if you can, you know, destroy this metal. So I picked it up. I, you know, I went this way, that way. I bent it, I did everything I could to try and rip this piece of metal. Couldn't do it. When I set it down, it went right back to its original form. Well, uh, well, let me get this straight. This, this, this sheets of metal is like some kind of alien nanotechnology. That it has a natural form. It, it just will always revert to that natural form, no matter what we do, because we might not have the technology that controls it. That's amazing. Now the next table had all sorts of parts, pieces. What they told us were alien crafts. Now there have been at least five documented crash sites since Roswell. Most of those parts ended up at Wright Pat Air Force Base. Wright Pat Air Force Base, Dayton, Ohio is what you're saying. That's correct. Dayton, Ohio, right in the middle of America. This is going on. Yes. We were taken down into what is called the uh, catacomb cluster beneath the base. It's uh, you know quite a ways downwards, and there's a series of just ma mazes of rooms and hallways and these giant vaults, hermetically sealed, environmentally controlled rooms. We were taken down into one, and through these crates, like seven foot by about four foot wide, just kind of sitting in different places. They asked us to approach these metal crates and look through the glass viewing windows. Inside, we found gray bodies with very, very large empty eye sockets. Some looked different. Instead of gray, they had a more of a bluish tint. We saw some that even looked similar to us. So, so like, different aliens and then alien humans is what you're saying? From the best of our understanding, like, imagine some, some type, type of genetic experiment. Oh. Where they mix humans and these alien creatures. Crossbreeding. Correct. Humans with aliens. What diabolical process is this? Either through evolution to fit in more with us, or genetic experiment. Airmen by the government, yes. Or maybe they're harvesting human organs to be able to use them for aliens. Well, it's well-known fact, it's been well-documented that, that people have been abducted and impregnated before. There has been, well, no actual concrete evidence, but it has True. been documented. Yes. And there has been very mysterious circumstances involved with this. But it seems that maybe the government's help that this has remained a conspiracy instead of a fact. There were meetings with M27, many. We would uh, write reports, discuss what we'd seen, you know, shoot out theories. 
it's really hard to talk about sometimes. Um, I'm sorry. Um, we were in charge of creating these programs, like uh, what would happen if uh, the aliens invaded, for example. We had our foreign technology wing at Wright Pat go over everything as much as they could. The point is to reverse engineer their technology so we can find ways to use it for us. I hear that's where we got Velcro. <laughs> Maybe. Um, what about stealth bombers? Yes. The stealth bombers and stealth fighters that uh, kind of uh, electro-wave magnetic exactly. technology. Technology that was before entirely un unheard of by the public. And suddenly these things come into existence. They created this book. They call it the Blue Book. The Blue Book. Inside this book, you can find information about every crash site, every part, every body, everything that's ever been moved to Wright Pat, along with all, a lot of the experiments they've done. Unfortunately, to view this Blue Book, there are so many redactions that you're basically reading five to seven words a page because everything else is blacked out. And they released it publicly this way. Yes, I, uh, I actually have seen a copy of this, of this blue book. book. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. There'll be nobody here. Nope. It's, it's, it's no problem. Stay calm. Just hold on. Just stay right there. So what's going yes. on in here? You guys have a permit to shoot it? No, I, yeah, Dad, we're, we're allowed to be here, so please. Okay, but look, you got like 20 minutes, and you guys got to get the fuck out of here, you hear me? Hey, 20 minutes is all we need. 20 just, uh, minutes? I'm just 20, serious, guys. Just please, just please don't, don't disturb us. Me, I'm not, though, no, no, no right. I'm, we're not fucking with I you. I got just... my fucking watch right here. I'm slow. Watch, I'm in the timer. 20 minutes. 20 minutes is all we need. Okay, I'll check in you 20 minutes. 20 minutes is all we need. Get out of here, you fucking in trouble. No. Your brother Fazuli is looking at you guys, you got it? Hey, 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 hey keep your brother Fazuli out of here. What hey, the fuck, fuck is that? Man, what I, the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, it's just a maintenance guy. It's okay. Uh, have yeah, a seat. Just, we, we were, on, we were yeah. on Blue Book. We're good. We're on Blue Book. Yeah, we're good. Stay calm. It's it's all all right. We're just... Yeah. Just nobody's right. here. It's just a maintenance guy. We're going to be okay. It's uh, You were telling me about the Project Blue Book. This is all... This is very important for the American people, for the people of the world to understand this. So please, please, sir. All right, all right. And we're rolling. You know, I've thought about this moment for a long time, for the last 15 years. I got cancer two years ago. You see, I got maybe a month or two left. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. So the way I see it, what are they gonna do? Kill me? It's time these things have, it's time for them to come out. Let me see it. You were, uh, you were telling me, telling us about this Project Blue Book and these, these areas in them that were blocked out to be kept out from the, uh, the redactions, right? Yes. I mean, with everything that was taken out, there's very little evidence in the book itself. But it's clear that something was going on. I mean, why black out? that many pages almost entirely. I mean, I'd say at least three quarters of the entire book is all blacked out. That is a lot of information that is being just retained away from the people who need to know. People people like me, people like the American people. This this conspiracy needs to end. Tell us, tell us how can we end this? What are they really doing? I think it's all experimentation. I think they're trying to find a way to evolve our race. Experimenting on humans? From my understanding, most aliens have, I guess, psychic abilities. They can do things with their mind that we are also capable of, but we've never learned how to unlock those things. Are you meaning like telepathy, telekinesis, some yes. type of psychic mind link? Exactly. <sighs> For years, scientists have claimed that we're capable of doing all those things if we can just unlock those portions of their brain. I believe that they're testing on these aliens to see how their brains function to see if they can create perhaps a serum or some type of surgery in order to give humans those same abilities. Imagine a world where everyone could do anything with their mind. Imagine a world where the military could do anything with their mind. They exactly. wouldn't share this with the general public. This is about control. This is about power. How can we prevent this? What can we do possibly to stop this from happening? We need to blow up the labs. Wow. 
That is not the answer. Um, <sighs> we need to destroy uh, all the research, all the bodies, everything. We need to burn it all. You're talking about a war on our government. Well, what's better? Alien invasions, government using mental powers to create wars and control the world, or a couple people sacrifice their lives and their well-being to stop it all now? You, you sir, make, make a heck of a point. I, I can't see how, as just one reporter, that I can, I can condone such actions. But you are right that something extreme must be done and must be done soon. I have a hundred pounds of C4 ready to go. My God! I did not need to know that, sir. I still have my clearance. I intend to strap at least fifty pounds to myself. 50 pounds to another man, and we intend to enter the lower levels of the catacombs. I... I know that something has to be done about this, but C4 explosives and suicide bombings? You'll be... you'll be labeled as a terrorist, sir! I'll be labeled as a martyr to everyone that believes. And that's all that matters. What the fuck, man? Hold on. Twice! It's... that's... that's okay. No, there's nowhere near 20 minutes! Just hold on. Hold on. It's only been five minutes. Stay calm. Oh. Fuck. Just wait a second. It's, uh... I'll be right back. Where are you going? No, just hold on. Don't just wait right there. Don't Stay. leave me in here. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck me. Um... Hey, you just try to... It's not fucking cool, man. I, I don't I don't know what's oh, going Jesus. on. I'm really freaked out. What is... This just can't be real. I fucking no. Okay, hold on. What, Fuck, man. What's going on? What's going on? It's over. What? Are you fucking serious? I'm sorry. I tried to keep this as secret as I could. I, fuck I, me, man. You fucked me. I... You fucked me. I did not fuck you. I oh think you 27 followed you here. Oh, fuck. Do, do fuck. You know, they said you would know who M27 is. Oh, God. Yes, yes. That, that's them right now. Oh, my God. Are we in yeah, trouble? Here, man. I gotta get out they, of here. They said as long as he leaves that we're okay. <sighs> I, I, I'm sorry, man. But if you leave now, man, don't touch me. I can still get the truth out if you leave now. If you stay, we're all fucked. Oh! Oh, fuck! Baby, if you're watching this, you know what to do. Fuck. We'll make sure it gets out there. Oh my god. What the fuck just happened? Who? Who is this M27? I, uh... This is... This is, this is an invasion of freedom of the press. The, the people have a right to know. And who are these people? That, is there really, really an alien invasion and a, and a cover-up of these nefarious activities of crossbreeding humans? What can we do? Go. Please, God, if you watch this, take this information and do something with it. You, you've got to do something. We've been hiking for hours. Are so we there yet? No. It hasn't been that long, guys. Come on. Stop being a little bitch. Let's do it. Man, I got all this shit. Come on. 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 I don't know. Do I look like the direction guy? Well, you I, kind of are in the front. Yeah, I thought you knew point. where you were going. Shh. Like I ever know where I'm going. At least we could have gone. That's back. reassuring. Okay. So, we are, uh, 
obviously in the woods we are taking care of some we've heard some uh rumors that aliens and stuff are around and we're about to find them <laughs> yeah right aliens. Uh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> there was some good evidence pointing in this direction, man. Yeah. If you don't believe, you will after today. Exactly. Yeah. No, I'm sure. with them. You know. I mean, I've been searching around for it myself, and you know, I'm really ready to do this. Well, I'm gonna make them my bitch, so we can, t so we can, you know, harness all their technology and everything, right? That's what that's what the government does. Not all the time. At least we can at least try asking first, unless they become hostile. Their technology is gonna look like magic to us. It'd be like us with uh, cars 200 years ago. It wasn't possible. If you took a car back in time and seen it, it would be magic to them. Well, their technology, traveling through space, come on, man. That's the traveling at light speed in order to get here. It's going to be magic. We won't even know. It's going to blow our minds. Ugh, this is where I'm surrounded by crazy people talking what? about aliens. So you don't believe you don't them? Believe. <laughs> Of course, it was probably just some wild animal or something. I mean, what? A, that's all that's in the woods, really. Yeah, uh, sure, there's animals out here. And aliens, maybe? Well, they're more up there. Yeah. Hey, so Argo says aliens. investigating Why? is most of more of the fun. <sighs> well, we're here, so we might as well get started. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, but I'm just happy that we didn't come out here at night because that'd be freaky as crap. Oh, come on. There's nothing wrong with going out in places at night. I brought a tent, man. I have no problem spending the night looking out here and waiting. Shit, maybe they'll take me up with them. Yeah, I'm kind of with him on this one. <laughs> maybe. I kind of just want to see him. Nothing's going to happen, so... Don't forget to send us a back of Don't be so oh, yeah. sure. It's going to be postage due, though. Just mm. so you know. Fair enough. I'll All pay right. for that one. <laughs> Alright, well, either way, whatever happens... I'll, I'll beat their ass, I don't care. Right. Even if we come into contact with a bear. Do you know what these hands have done? You know what these hands have taken care of? Well, at least we know we're protected by bears now. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. Like well, uh, bare naked ladies you've taken care of. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, you know it. Let's not get into that. I <laughs> can't <laughs> <laughs> stories. It's uh, anyway. We're just leaving it like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so everybody got their equipment. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. I a little too much, man. This shit's heavy. Well, you want to switch packs? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but you know you're you're a little overweight. You need to lose a little pounds, right? That's why I'm taking the pack off. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> didn't really mean like that, but no. <laughs> so that was really weird. His his camera. We we brought two cameras, but for some reason, whenever he pressed record, it would always go in static, and it just it didn't record anything. I don't know what happened. I charged it up. It's worked fine before we got here. You know what it is? It's it's aliens. Or, or it's, you know, not any technical problem or anything that could happen to a camera. Oh. I mean, it we could have be, been in the woods. Could be a piece of shit camera. No offense. That's, that's, that's true. Yeah, Did you, like, drop it in the water or something? Because I know maybe, we've been know. hiking for a yeah, while. Yeah, weren't they working just fine yesterday? Yeah, it was. I don't know. I'll ask my roommates about it when I get back. Yeah. I, that doesn't make well, any sense. I got my camera oh. if we need it. Good enough. Well, nothing's happened so far. <clears throat> I'm about ready to head out. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd, just another day, just another day in the life of a... I think we should just keep looking, man. There's stuff out here. We just got to find it. I'll be happy to run into anything at this point. Yeah, so really quick, just so I know what I'm getting into. Uh, what exactly do the aliens do for, like, abductions and... St did, you, did you hear that? I heard something. I don't know. I think it came from that direction. <sighs> Probably just a deer or something. It doesn't look like anything. Why don't you get my camera? Yeah, get get get, get your camera so we can have at least two people just in case mine starts screwing up again. Mm. I'm, just, I'm glad we are not oh, out here at night. Do not break it. Oh, I'm all right. It's a good camera. Just just trust people. You have trust issues. Is it is it working? Somewhat. All right. I don't um, see anything. Like I said, probably just an animal. Nothing to worry about. Well, let's go look. I mean, right. shit, that's what we're here for. Yeah. Now, you guys know that there's a whole shitload of different types of aliens, right? 
Like what? Like what well, kind? You know more about it than I do. Like, yes, please. Like the little green ones. Oh, the yeah, the, the ones with the giant egg-shaped heads, right? <laughs> well, there's a lot of different ones. I mean, you got the little people. They're uh, big in Western New York. Um, they're sort of like mythical aliens, and people disappear in the woods all the time out there. And well, it's little people abducting them. So I'm how, not sure if, if that's what's going little, on. If they're little, how do they abduct them, though? I mean, if they're like smaller than you, how do they like lift them up and do they like beam them up to the mothership or something? They could have that technology. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they have technology uh, to travel through space, do you think that moving a little bit of weight around, imagine how much a starship would weigh. I mean, thousands and thousands of tons. They can move that. You don't think they can lift 50, 60 pounds, something right, like that, no problem? but space is also in zero gravity. So nothing really weighs anything, so it would be a lot lighter, right? Until they land on a planet. We have this thing called gravity. That's true. I, I know some people don't understand the concept <laughs> of it. How about say, you're getting paid before I am. There was some serious trouble. Tell you what, we find something, we get this shit on YouTube, we'll get like a billion hits in once in an hour. Hey, I'm in. You talking about YouTube again? Yeah. Do you That's know how many views this is going to get if we catch something? Yeah. I mean, seriously. Well, I hope we do catch something because I want to check it out myself. Besides AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing. Smart man's got jokes. Okay, you have to admit, once we, if we actually do find something, we're gonna get like super famous, right? <laughs> if, and that's a big if. Right, but if, if we do, do you realize that we could make so much money? Or yeah. we could probably get arrested. <laughs> that, that's a, all right, all right, that how about this? Passing criminal record is not oh. a very good thing. No. That's why we go right to the press with it. You don't, we'll throw it on YouTube and go right to the press. Yeah. We well, I was meaning more arrested due to the fact, because, I mean, you've heard horror, like, the stories about people talking about aliens and stuff. Like, in the gov 51. like, in the government, like... They try to cover it up. Yeah. So we get it out there. They can't cover it Mother up if please. it's out there. Uh, look, if we find anything, I'll eat my hat, okay? You don't want you to will see eat that. that. <laughs> Do you want to catch up with it? like a challenge, there. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want a baked fried? Uh, how would you like your hat prepared, sir? We'll talk about it if we find anything. Okay. See, I, I, I saw that you were about to say when. It looks like you're kind of warming up a little bit. I yeah. mean, when we find something. Uh, so, we heard one noise. We're going to investigate it. Haven't heard anything for quite a while, but try not to trip, bro. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just. I feel pretty confident about what we're gonna find. Yeah. Anybody? I know this shit out here. There's there's sticks there. <laughs> Shut up. All of you hate you. This. Oh man, I need a breather though. Give me a minute. I told you, man. You all right? You gotta get that fitness on, and you'll be you'll be fine. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, you ain't fucking up my camera, are you? No, of course. It's not. It's okay. It's okay. Trust me. I cleaned it. I cleaned it. Ugh. All right. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, it's just some homeless guy. Yeah, probably some just freaking crackhead or no, something. No, no, no. Yeah, we, we're not, we're no. Not. They're coming to make contact, man. Oh, come on. Are you serious? You really think that's an alien? Dude, that, that Are you serious right now? Woods, like some hungry. Like, if he was drugged up on something, you might not want to go over that? there. It's an alien. He's making contact, guys. He's making contact. Oh, it's not an alien. Dude, you're probably going to get raped and get AIDS, man. We come in peace. Look here, we're not going to do anything. You get caught in rabies. You get caught in rabies. What the? Oh my god! Oh, oh, shit! Shit!
What? Oh the my god. Was that? I have no idea. We need to go back and get Jeff. Yeah. Fuck oh, Jeff. We need yeah, to get no, we, the hell out of here. We can't. We can't. No. We can't. Do you not see every all these? I don't care. You can just leave him. Maybe we maybe we can find a way around and, and we can get to him. Forget him. What about woods. us? Oh man. Uh, stuff like this never happens back home. You can't just stand here. Good point. You have to. I don't know if you. You have to make moves. You know what? Who said something? Uh, what the fuck is that? Of course, I turn it sideways, and nobody's touched it since. Hmm. Okay. Well, Ed was super pissed over our last, our last juncture. Yeah. Well, you know what? If he'd have been halfway organized with that, it would have got done the way he wanted it. Exactly. I feel like so. He dropped the ball on this, but we're paying for it. Yeah, this is definitely the job that pays for the grief. So, alien hunting, we will go. And south 
West Ohio. Good Lord. Ooh. Are, are we here? Yeah. BFE SW. <laughs> yeah. That'll be our new name for it. I think, yeah, that'll be, we'll be Team BFE SW. Ah, Team BFE SW. From the Action Squad. It's okay. New Six. We have arrived at this appropriate location. Yeah. Um, God. Hmm. Oh, godforsaken wilderness yeah, again. Like in the daylight, they're really going to come out and find us. Of course. Luckily, we got our GPS and whatnots. Oh, yes, the OnStar got us here quite well. All right. Our equipment. All right, well. Okay, you've got the camera yep. bag. Make sure it got the mic. I think we can test it all when we get there, but... Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. I believe these rednecks will be waiting on oh, us, though. They're yeah. not going anywhere. Okay, mic in place. All right. Please, let's not lock us in the car. And let's get on with this, uh... Let's see, what do they call those things? The when you go on a hunt for nothing? A wild goose chase? Wild goose chase! That's what we're on. Okay, I think uh, this is the direction we're supposed to be going. He said look for the big long little tree standing yeah, out that's by the one. That's I the one. That. Alright, well, another... I'm not liking the path we got here. Another fantastic an adventure for He's already down there the rest of them that we're supposed to be finding them so we got to walk through the oh, woods look at this. it's ridiculous oh all right God. Cut. oh you right. talk like Excellent. that i'll shoot you in your mouth mm. miss my for new six welcome today no okay you're just rolling and I am here with the county sheriff. We have missing hikers. And I'm here to find out what this is happening and what is going on. Can you tell me? All we know right now, Maya, is that we have five missing people that were supposedly hiking in the woods. Um, we got reports of some screaming. Um, sounded like they were terrified. We're here today to try to find them. They haven't come out. They've been missing for about a day now. and. Uh, so we're out here to try to find them. We got a team. We're going to scour the woods. Hopefully everything's okay. It's maybe a prank or something. We're hoping, and hopefully they'll all be okay. But do you have a direction now of which um, we'll be heading to attempt to find them? Well, there's a woods back over behind your cameraman. Uh, the last signs were back in that woods, and we're going to be heading that way. And uh, there's, a, if I'm not mistaken, there's a creek and hilly area back in there. A lot of area where they can get lost and we're going to try to find that because hopefully if they're like most campers they'll find the creek try to follow the creek to somewhere where to come out into the open wonderful thank you sheriff stone this is maya on location channel six news live thank you okay guys you heard what's been going on here lately we've had all these stupid calls lately full moon you know, that crap goes every time we got five hikers missing They've been out for approximately 24, 25 hours now. Nobody's heard from them. They said they heard, well, they said they heard screaming, things breaking in the woods, a lot of chaos and mayhem. Uh, they didn't say there's some younger ones, but it's supposed to be somebody doing a like a documentary, homemade type little thing. I, I don't know. Indie documentary. Film? Yeah, in one, of those, one of those. Yeah, oh one God. of those. So, but listen, we got to treat it as if it's real. We don't know, something could have happened. Mm -hmm. I want to go in tactically just to make sure. Okay. He, he thinks hostile, and he's running. Maya Lucy Look. with Action 6 News. We have no idea. We're, We're getting ready we to follow see. Sheriff Stone and his crew into the woods to look for the missing five people children included we're just not sure so as we follow them we'll keep you updated as well as we can I'm signing off callahan i'm going to have you stay back on the right hand side of the wedge Halcom, you're going to lead the wedge mcbride you're going to be on the left side i'm going to stay in the middle so i can watch and give you guys direction and i'll babysit for now if anything goes down 
I want you to fall back, take care of the cameraman. Yes, you get to be babysitter. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Hey, you get top shot. <laughs> yeah. Top, top, top shot. Hey. Yes, sir. Yeah, you got to earn your keep, man. Yeah, I'm fairly so. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Teach you to shoot so good. <laughs> so, but we do have a camera crew. You guys know what that means. Watch your talk. You know how they go. Whatever, whatever you say is going to be blown out of proportion. Exactly. You know, no, so. No, say nothing. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. Just. Yeah. Okay. Let's head out. Yeah, let's do it. That's your point, man. Okay. Make sure you stay back a little bit. Yes, sir. If anything happens, I'm going to have Callahan come back and take care of you. Okay. Yes, so stay close. Got that? Got it. We're supposed to stay close. Right. Stay back, stay back. Camera crew, get back behind us, please.
chains are all in pieces. Pieces? Where? Where? Here? Stone, let me talk to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Help! Hey, hey, come on. Be quiet. Get back here in the corner. Get back here. Get away from the door. Right, come on. Anybody got a cell phone on them? Uh, calm down now. Listen. We're okay. Not it's sure. just not working. Nothing. It's not working. Okay, okay. The cell phones don't work. Let me try the door. Hang on. Stoney can't stand up. The door's locked. What? The door's locked. Help! There's a door. Help! Come on. Help! Officer Callahan, thank you. Thank you for meeting us here. We, we find it very important that you share your story with the people. Uh, I don't have any comment. Sir, I, I know that you've been through a lot, but being there when the murders happen, and, and the only survivors, sir, there's, there's got to be something that you can share with the people. I'm telling you, I don't remember anything. All right? They did something to my head. They put something inside me to control me. You remember nothing? No! Sir. Nothing! No! Nothing to what happened to you no. that day! Nothing to what happened to the other campers! The other officers! Everybody, those two reporters! You cannot... Tell you, I don't remember anything! If I could tell you anything, then I would! Sir, I know. I know the pain that you've been going through. I know the hurt. I know the hurt of what's been happening to you. Understand that by, by helping me, 
by sharing with me I have anything for you! Don't you understand that? Nothing, sir. There is nothing. My mind has been manipulated. All right? I don't know what happened to those people. They're probably dead by now. Would you be willing if I came back in a week or two? Would you, you be... give it a week, month, a year? We could put I you under hypnosis. What the fuck is that gonna do? You can remember that. I don't that believe shirt. in that shit, man. I think I have as much closure as I'm ever gonna get. All right? I have nothing. There's more. The answers are out there. Well, you go the find yourself. Are in you. I don't have anything. God, I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember. to meet two very important contacts. Doc Brown, Miss Dyson. They, they are both ex-government employees with valuable secret information. On our way, crossing through these woods to meet them, we came across this. A possible UFO landing zone. The weird kind of figure eight type shape pressed pressed deep into this brush could it be could it be possible evidence of something more existing around here well we will find out come on let us go go to our meeting so what do you think think they're uh quacks or do they you think we might find some this time it's just too hard to say. With what happened the last time, with the disappearance of uh, my last contact, the involvement of government secret agents, and the, the tapes that were found with brutal, brutal mutilations being caused by possible aliens, it's, it's phenomenal. I am, uh, I am taken back by this possibility. So what happened to your last camera guy? And you just hired me off the off the street a couple days ago. She got terrified after after it seems the last incident when the uh, contact was taken from the spot, just erased from possible existence by by government agents and and alien conspiracists. This she just couldn't handle the pressure and uh, she herself has disappeared into hiding uh, not this reporter I am truly dedicated to uncovering this and willing willing to lay down my life for the truth come on mr. Miller I'm here I'm here I think we're almost there this I believe we're coming up on the uh, the complex of dr. Brown we're going to be able to find out all the secrets he knows of the government conspiracy of the aliens that are secretly invading our country. Our world is at stake here. So, how'd you meet this guy, anyway? I... I met him online. Hold on, we... What are you doing here? Come here. Just be careful, man. You don't know. He's... Can I help you, sir? What are you I... doing here? I am a professional. My name is William Miller. I am an action reporter for Alien Hunters. It is a TV show where we are trying to uncover the conspiracy of aliens. We are... And make money. And... Yeah, this is my property here. I've, I've lived here for three years. Uh, I'm, I'm fed up with all the stuff that's going on next door. I don't know what all do these you, signs uh, are. Do you know uh, Dr. Brown, who uh, lives at this complex? No, I do not know Dr. Brown. Have you... You said you have seen some... Some strange All kinds of suspicious activity going on. I don't know what this excavation is. I've seen bones, weird bones in the dirt. Uh, there's equipment all over the place everywhere. I don't see what's going on here. Bones in the dirt? 
Have you seen anything like weird lights at night? I've heard noises, no lights. What kind of noises? What kind of noises? Uh, it sounds like rustling around in the woods. It sounds like there's all kinds of animals and people moving around. Now, um, thank you, sir, for uh, coming forward and being able to talk to us. Uh, America appreciates your input and uh, appreciates the situation that you've been put in. So what is this situation exactly? We are currently trying to track down alien conspirators, working with aliens who are mutating aliens. human DNA. They so are mutating. You're telling me that's what those bones are? Well, I mean, we don't know yet for sure. But we don't know yet for sure. We, uh, we have to talk to Dr. Brown. The, the man you've been living next door to is an ex-government employee who has worked for NASA and the, and the Secret Service. And in order to contain the aliens from being uh, mixing with the human population. This is a uh, this dire is all, situation. This is all too much for me. Well, sir, I appreciate you being coming forward and being candid with this. And, uh, I hope that you are able to leave this all behind in safety, sir. Uh, thank you very much. Of course, yeah. Let's go you. check out these bones. Thanks, sir. Thank you. After a very telling encounter with the neighbor who used to live here, we are back again approaching Dr. Brown's hidden complex. This is a secret center for combating aliens here on Earth. Now, okay. as we approach, I I can't emphasize enough just the experience that I am feeling, the, the electricity coming through me. Look here on top of the roof. I have never seen any technology like that here on Earth. What could that possibly be? Is it is it maybe a alien radar? Is it a communication device? We don't know, but this will be the type of things that we want to talk to Dr. Brown about. Now, the neighbor who came and approached us, talking to us about mysterious noises, sounds, animalistic, cries in the night, also told us that there were bones hidden amongst the rubble here. I... Think we can sell them? Oh my God! Look at this! Get it. No! Don't touch! They could be radioactive. Look! Look at this. Is this human? Is it alien or is it is it one of the crossbreeds? Look at these bones are littering all over out here. Oh, this is horrifying. What diabolical processes could possibly be going on here? Should we cover them back up? Uh I think we should just leave them the way that they are. They, uh, I, I agree with that, too. That is, that is an absolutely terrifying image to, to see a bones littered like a killing field across the ground. It's, it's too awful to describe. I'm, I am taken back. I'm in shock over this experience. What, what possibly could be in store for us today? Let's find out. What the hell are these signs here for? Those are warning signs. That means radioactivity. This could be an incredibly dangerous adventure for us. But we must know the truth. It's just quarantine, though. We were told to meet Dr. Brown here. I'm, I am quite positive that we will be okay. Dr. Brown! Dr. Brown, sir, sir. are you in there? Sir, quit yelling. Or something might hear us. It's sealed tight. Oh, here. You want me to get us in? Whatever it takes. Take the camera. Now, I'm going to go around back and try to break a window. I... I don't know if that's a good idea. Whatever it takes. When I say whatever it takes, I mean... Whatever it takes. I am still standing here. My cameraman has disappeared. I, I don't know what's going on there. Wait a minute, I hear something. I, I think something's coming. Oh! It's my cameraman. What you do? Alright, got it. I think we're safe. I, I yeah, there's didn't no one in see here. anybody out there. This, this must be the... Close the door. This must be the secret location where Doc Brown uses a kind of sounding area, a base for him to be able to 
hunt aliens and their 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 plans and intentions in these woods that are behind look, us. Look. Jumping Jehoshaphats! What is this? This this is an arsenal. This is this is more than the National Guard would carry. My God, look at these dangerous weapons. This, what have we stepped into? I I uh I might fear for our lives, but the price of my life is nothing compared to Wait, Oh my god! What are you doing in here? I want I am supposed to be here! Shut up! Sit down! So my name is My name is William Miller, guys. I, I am supposed Give to be this. here! Hey! I am scheduled oh, for an appointment, please! No! What the fuck are you doing here? My name is Who William Miller. I am from Alien Hunters. I have an appointment. I'm the camera guy. I don't know anything about this. We found him trespassing. My, my name is William Miller. I, I have an appointment with Dr. Brown. I am supposed to be here. I, I, I am Dr. Brown. Do, Dr. Brown, it is, a, it's, it is a pleasure to meet you. I'm, I, I've been talking to you. I'm William Miller from Alien Hunters. I, I have come here. We had an appointment. Oh, yes, yes. Why didn't you ask them? Here we are. We are finally here to meet Dr. Brown, somebody who I've been communicating with, finding more about the alien conspiracy that has been plaguing our Earth. Now, Dr. Brown, thank you very much after the weeks of communication that you were trusted me enough to meet me here at your secret establishment. I, I have so many questions. The, the first that is just burgeoning my mind is next door to your, to your complex here we found a a field with bones littered across. I was wondering if you could elaborate where this possibly came from. The garbage men wouldn't take them. If you go into town and you tell people that you found them, green men, big men in white coats will come and get you. We've been looking this area over for quite a while trying to find aliens and, well, yeah, we found a few. Dr. Brown, there, there's, there's more, too. I mean, as we approached as we approached your building, I, I saw across the top of it that there was some type of weird technology resting on the roof that I've never seen before. Is, does this have to do with the alien conspiracy? Yes. Remarkable. What is it exactly? Well, it's very complex, very complicated. You'd have to have a degree in astronomy or string theory, physics, something of that nature, to fully understand it. But let's just say we're looking for them and we're finding them. So in layman's terms, in the simplest explanation, it's some type of tracking device used to find these aliens as you are hunting them? Bingo. Remarkable. We really need to get this hunt going. Mm. Hunt? Mm -hmm. You are actually physically hunting aliens. Well, allow me to introduce my staff to you so you can get a bit of understanding what's going on here. This is Michelle Dyson. She's a former bounty hunter who worked for the American forces in Iraq to hunt down certain people. Damn straight. Remarkable. This is Chad. Scary. We are standing here for alien hunters. William Miller talking to Dr. Brown, an ex-government scientist who has been hiding as he fights for our freedom against an alien invasion and conspiracy that our government knows about. Now, my cameraman and I, as we were making our way to your complex, found this. And I was struck by the remarkable similarity to other landing sites I've seen pictures of. Is this... Is this a possible alien landing site, sir? Yes. It is. You actually saw an alien craft here? Watched it land. <clears throat> you, you watched it land? It was a dark and stormy night. The wind was blowing hard over the east. It came down from there, slowly hovering down. Then they went thud. It just hit the ground with a thud? Yes. Was it 
filled with lights. Do you see it in the distance? I mean, so close to urban areas here. Did anybody see it? No, it's Friday night. We're all at the football game. Americans' distractions keep them from knowing the truth, from, from seeing the truth. Now, sir, when, when this alien craft landed here, what, what exactly did you do? Well, we saw a pilot come out. An alien pilot actually emerged from the craft? Yes. My God. Um, when this alien came out, exactly, how did you rise to meet the occasion of a visitor from another world, possibly another universe, coming to our own soil? I loaded my deer gun and shot him. Holy God, you shot him! Yes, I... Well, yes. Yes, I killed him. And he's, he's, he's lying over there. Would you like to see him? You actually have an alien body cached here nearby? I tell a soul. Let's go see him. Follow us. This is the most important moment of our show's history. The actual evidence of aliens. He's leaving us. We should go. Oh, we go. We should go. We should come go. on. Come on. Uh, here we are, alien hunters. William Miller, walking with Dr. Brown, renowned scientist, physicist, and alien hunter. We are on our way to see. True evidence of uh, aliens coming to our world. Now, now tell me, Dr. Brown, now, with your experience with these aliens coming off the ships and your encounters, what, what can you tell me about these aliens? There's really not much to say. Um, I was too busy shooting them. Oh my goodness, you just shot the aliens? What is going on? It's not here anymore. What's not here? The body. It's gone. Uh -oh. You actually had the alien body here? Mm -hmm. We had one. The ground here actually feels colder than the surrounding ground that's around it. The body was right here. I could almost feel the magnetic presence of the alien that had just been here. Hey, you motherfuckers! You looking for aliens? Come on! What the? Aliens? Get on them! Get this footage! We need this! Yes, sir. We have found somebody who supposedly has had contacts with aliens and then ran away from us. We're going to investigate this at this moment. Come on. Who are you? Come on, man. No. Who are you? None of your fucking business, I'm going to make it my business. Who are you? Sir, please tell us what you meant by aliens and that you knew where they are. This is not going to happen like that, sir. Believe me, these are professionals here, and I am an investigative reporter. Yeah, you think you hunt them, they hunt you. Just tell these people what they need to know so that we may combat this alien infestation. I don't understand what... 
What just happened here? Do you ever shut up? Uh, yes. No, we need to leave. No, we have to stay on no, this mission. No, we don't have to stay. Look, I realized the, the murder of a they human civilian. They shot someone they don't even know. I know, but this is a battle for, the, for humanity. We have to stay. There are prices that must be paid. Things that must be taken care of. This is the fate of the human race could possibly lay in our hands. Do you understand, man? Hey, hey, let me play it up. I have the camera. I recorded everything. If I die, it's not getting out there. What we have now is evidence enough. I promise you that I will do everything I can to keep us both safe, but that's... We have a problem. What's that, sir? Miss Dyson is missing. Miss Dyson. Chad. She was just here! She's not here anymore. We're being picked off one by one I like prey to the wolves. No, gentlemen. No, we will be okay. That way. Let's go. I told you they're going to kill us. We are going to be okay. Just up ahead. We are falling behind. We have already down one person as Dyson has gone missing. We I'm tromping through the woods. Come this way. Thank you, sir. This way. I, 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 I got a bad feeling about this. This is a dangerous situation, but one that must be taken care of. This is just more than my professional career and an Emmy that is at stake here. This is our very lives and the lives of Every human being on Earth. Yeah, well, I want to raise. Don't worry. I came prepared. What the hell is that piece you're going to do? Mr. Miller, I, I can't I, see I, him anymore. I, Miller? I thought I heard something. We... We have caught up with Dr. Brown and his bodyguard. There's something up ahead. Come on. Come on. I don't know, man. I think, I think we should get the hell out of here. No, no. We have to stick with this. You make a plan and it's all about follow them. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, shit. Is that... Is it... Don't touch it! It's blood! Oh my god, look at the hair! That... I think something has happened to... to Dyson that... it seems to have... to... cut her hair and... torn her apart! The blood! Oh my god, the blood! Blood over there too. Look at this! It's everywhere! I don't think... <laughs> I don't think we are no longer alien hunters. We are the alien hunted. Come on. Where did he go? There's no sign of him. Chad? Chad! 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 Dr. Brown, what is our next step? Pray. Pray. Pray, the man says. Let's, let's get out of here. Uh -oh. 
don't know about this, sir. I really don't like it. What is it? What is it, man? Smell them. Smell who? They're the ones. It's the aliens. They're my people. Care what happens to me, you know what you have to do. You go after those people and you get them. You get them! I will carry on the fight! Camera. We have to keep moving! No, no look, way to hell. Look, we are lost in the woods with aliens hunting us! Kick that camera! No, Let's I'm not go! The camera. Look, we have to keep moving! We're sitting ducks and we have to film all this! It must be documented for yeah, the American we people! Everything. I'm not documenting anymore. No. Did you hear that? Hey, shh, shh, shh! Oh, shh! Oh, there's something out there! No! 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 Oh, they're everywhere! They're everywhere! 